Welcome back to another Onshape tutorial. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use these six three-dimensional operations. I'll be using them to modify this existing part, which I've made with a couple of extrudes. First, I will show you the fillet tool, or the radius tool. It adds radii to your part, and you click on the edges. Inside or outside edges will work, and it puts a curve on that edge. For an outside edge, it will remove material, and for an inside edge, it will add material. You can change the radius of the fillet to whatever you'd like, and accept whenever you're finished. The chamfer tool is very similar, except rather than putting a radius on your edge, it puts a 45 degree angle. And also, instead of putting a radius distance, you put the distance between this point here and either of the edges of the chamfer. While this is normally 45 degree angle, you can change it to a distance and whatever angle you'd like or two separate distances for each of these sides of the chamfer. Here you can clearly see the differences between the fillet and the chamfer. The next tool I'll show is the draft tool. First select the neutral plane which determines what direction the draft will be in and then select the faces that you'd like to draft. I'm just going to draft this face and increase the angle a little bit so you can see it better. There's a 10 degree angle which you can flip to either side of the existing face. Now I will show how to use the rib tool by first creating a sketch and rather than making a closed polygon, we just need a single line or an arc or something else. In this case, I'll be using a line. So dimension it to wherever you want the top of your rib to be. And once it's defined, you can start creating the rib with the rib tool. Click on the edge from your sketch and then click on the part that you want the rib to connect to and it's trying to create the rib in the wrong direction so click on this arrow to flip it and now you can see the rib is connecting to our part and you can change the thickness of the rib to make it stronger or lighter and that will add support to the arm here. The next tool, the shell tool, hollows out your part and you can choose which faces you want to make room for the hollowed out part. and you can choose the thickness that you would like the shell to be and accept that tool. The last three-dimensional operation I'll demonstrate is the hole which is different than just creating a circle in a sketch and then just extruding it. So we'll be using a point up here instead of the hole tool and after it's defined we can do the 3D operation. So you can select the point and it'll create a hole. I'm going to also add a second hole here so you can see the cross section of the hole. So a simple hole 
like this, is just straight all the way through and nothing at the top. You can see here that it goes all the way down to the bottom of our part two. We can also change that to a blind hole where we get to set the depth. And you can see here that it does not have a flat bottom like an extruded hole would be because it assumes that you're using a drill bit for this. And the depth measured here, which is a quarter of an inch, is measured from the top of your part to this line right here, not to the tip of the drill bit. So this full diameter, the length and the depth of that is what it's measuring. You can also create a counterboard hole, which creates an increased diameter only part of the way down, and it has a flat bottom on it. You can change the counterbore diameter or the counterbore depth to whatever you'd like, and it will do that. You, you can also set a countersink, which creates a taper at the top of your hole. You can change that to whatever you'd like, that angle. And rather than setting the depth of the countersink, you can set the top of the diameter. And like normal, you can set the depth of your hole. And I will remove this cross-section hole by clicking on it again by editing my hole and that's removed and now this part has all of these other operations if I delete everything else you can see what the part looked like before and after and it really makes a big difference well, I hope you learned a lot from this video. If you did, please like and subscribe.